Hello everybody, we are back here on Hunting Simulator 2 and recently I put up a poll asking what you guys would like to see me do in the game next and stand hunting won by an absolutely huge amount so we're going to be looking for a hunting stand and trying to get some kills from it. Uh, there's a ton of animals around this tent uh, so maybe if we get lucky we can get over to that stand and try to get one of these guys to come close. I did bring along the crossbow because bow hunting was another very highly requested thing so we'll see what we can do with that hopefully we'll be able to get a kill with it and oh my gosh there's just animals everywhere this is the first time I've hunted in the evening and I think I might be hunting in the evening from now on with the amount of game that's around here so I kind of want to see maybe we can get these elk to come to a call and kind of lead them over to the stand so we can take them from it and then from then on we'll just sit in the stand and see what else comes our way Okay, we got them interested now. One of them is, at least. I don't know if the other one's going to be coming along. Uh-oh. It knows we're here. I think what we'll do is... Ah, oh, they both saw us, actually. We're going to have to just take it. All right, well, it's not exactly how I wanted this to go, but uh, I guess we'll go claim these two and then I'll go set up in the stand somewhere. Well, we hit that one again. That'll get it to go down a little bit quicker. So yeah, it's kind of unfortunate that we had to kill these guys before we got to the stand, but it's better than letting them get away, I guess. Well, this guy just toppled over in front of us. I'm not sure where the second one went. It was somewhere over here. It might have died. In fact, I think that might be it right there. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab this guy. It's just an adult elk, but still not too bad of a start. The elk do give some decent money, so any size elk is always much appreciated. But I believe this is the second. Yeah, that is our second one. So once we get this guy, we'll head to an actual stand and see what we can get from there. Because that is the whole purpose of this video. There we go. Another adult elk. I really hope one of these days they add some actual fur variations in. It'd be nice to be able to kill an albino or a piebald or a melanistic. Just to add like a little bit more replayability to the game. Because as, as of now the game's good. It's very good but it could use a few things to make the longevity of the game a little bit longer. So hopefully they'll address that in the future but not too bad of a start. Two elk and that's a cougar over there. But we're not going to go for that because we are focused on the stand hunting today. So let's head over to this stand and see if we can get anything else. Wait a second. I just got the option to have our dog flush. Um, How do I get him to flush? Wait. Flush. Let's try to get whatever this is with the crossbow. Come on, crow. Get him for me. What is he doing? I'm so confused. This is not how you flush birds, little guy. This is not how you flush birds. Crow, you're fired. Come, Come here. On. Oh, we actually have a coyote or a fox right there. Let's go ahead and predator call. Legit right after I got in the sand. That little guy shows up. We actually do have a bighorn sheep out there too. We have a couple of them, so once we get this guy, maybe... Oh, actually, he's spooked already. What? How? How does that happen? I'm not sure how he spooked off. I Maybe the wind got to him, I guess? That's the only thing I can really think of. That's just so weird. What are the point of the stands if they don't even do anything? I think even though we're in a stand, we are going to have to just use... Wait, is that another turkey? It is. That is a turkey. Uh, maybe... I'm not sure if we have to make them flush or not. But I kind of want to see if we can hit that. At the same time, we got this little guy coming in. Let's real quickly check the range. 86 meters. Maybe we can hit this. Oh, 
Oh, that was so close. I, we've got the aiming point down. Ooh, we hit him. We hit him. I think that was a hit. Can we get him on the run? There is no way I'm hitting this, but we're going to try it. Actually, he's going to die. That little guy's going to die. Nice. We got our first stand kill with the crossbow. That's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see what we can do with this turkey right here. Uh, this little guy is looking straight at us. Yeah, he's just looking straight at us. Maybe we can get him to flush out and then... And we missed him. Well, it was worth a shot. I was hoping we'd be able to hit him, but we did not. Yeah, there's no getting that guy. He is long gone. We were very close on one of those shots, though. Let's go ahead and claim our little coyote wherever he went to. Looks like he's right here. So this is our first bow kill. Nice. And we did hit lungs, so that was actually a pretty good shot from 68 meters. So looks like we can comfortably hit them at around 60 to 70 meters. So that's very good to know. And that was our last coyote. Let's head back to the stand and see if we can get these bighorn now. Alright, let's go ahead and reload the crossbow real quickly. We are down to only three bolts. So we will have to be a little selective with what we shoot. We're probably going to move to a different stand at some point. Since we are about to shoot those bighorn wherever they went off to. Okay, there's one of them. Let's see if we can get a hit. Ooh, that's a kill shot on that guy. All right, so since we're going to be going back anyways, I think what we should do is real quickly try to get this other turkey that we saw over here. We're going to flush him out and try to get an arrow into him. Since we do have to go back to the cabin to get some bolts anyway and fast travel to another area, we might as well see if we can get this little guy as he goes away. There we go. We got that turkey. Out of the air with a crossbow. Too bad. That is actually a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and bag this little turkey. It is a mature male. And we completely missed all of the organs, but we still dropped it. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure we already have a mature one in our lodge. So I won't be keeping this guy, but that's still really awesome that we were able to take it out of the air with a crossbow. A little bit easier than I expected it to be, honestly. But so far, I'm not really having too many issues with the crossbow. I know the compound bo the compound bows in this game are supposedly not very good. I haven't tested them myself, but everybody's told me that the compound bows are pretty garbage. So I figured we'd try out the crossbow because I was hoping that it would be better, and it definitely is. Definitely enjoying the way the crossbow feels. We're actually able to hit stuff with it, which is really nice. All right, so here we are at the tent. We're going to go ahead and fast travel up here next to where that bighorn died. That way we can pick him up and then we'll head back and get some more ammo. Because we're definitely going to need it. We ran out of crossbow bolts pretty much. We're down to... Oh, wait. We actually still have three. Interesting. So I think maybe we can recover our bolts when we claim the animals. That's actually kind of cool. Because I know for a fact we had three left before we shot that turkey. And we still have three after killing the turkey. So, I guess we get our bolts back if we get a kill shot. But here is that ram. It is just an adult bighorn. So let's head over to the tent and fast travel back to the cabin. That way we can refill our ammunition. And then we'll see if we can go to another stand and maybe get a couple kills on something a little bigger like an elk. Alright, here we are at the cabin. Let's go ahead and clean these animals. There's two of our elk, the coyote, the turkey, and the bighorn. Not too bad. Let's refill our ammo. And see if we can go out and find something else. I want to look around and see if we can get a different stand. I want to switch it up a little bit. We do have a stand right there, actually. So we're probably just going to run over to that one and see what's going on there. And we just crashed. Oh, fantastic. Um, 
Rip. Well, I guess let me get the game started back up and then we'll continue. <laughs> Alright, so we are back out here and I decided to pick up some scent killer. So hopefully this will actually improve our chances of getting close. I don't know how long this lasts. Ooh, actually, it shows in the bottom left. It doesn't look like it lasts a ton of time, but we'll see what we can do with it. Ooh, I forgot to renew my elk license. That is unfortunate. So basically what's happened in the past like 15, 20 minutes, I actually recorded the end of this video already, but um, yeah, I forgot to hit record, so it didn't record any of it, unfortunately, and we're pretty much having to do the last half of this video again. So. I actually forgot to refill my elk license, which that's unfortunate. We're going to have to fast travel to the stand and hopefully find something that isn't an elk. So that's kind of unfortunate, but we'll see what we can do. We will see what we can do. Oh, we got a bobcat over there, but that thing's pretty far out of range along with that fox. I don't think we can get it to come to the predator call from this distance. It's very close though. Um, let's run down and see if we can get it to come and then we'll move backwards. So just get this guy to come in towards us. In fact, I think that actually might have done it. Yeah, that thing's coming at us. Let's go back into the stand. All right, so this little guy's getting really close. In fact, I don't know if we hit him there. That came really close. But I think we were just barely off. And we even used scent killer and it still didn't it still didn't have a single effect on it. I don't know what we need to do. Like what is the point of the stands if they don't allow you to get close enough to use the bows? It just seems like they need to tweak these stands a little bit. I can kind of see why nobody uses these now. They are very pointless in my opinion. If you're going to add stands to a game, but you still spook animals at 60 meters with scent cover on, there's not really any reason to even use the stand. Alright, so I'm not really sure what else I can really do since we've figured out the stands aren't that great. They don't really allow you to get close enough for a bow shot, so I guess what we'll do, since I don't really want to end the video this soon, I kind of want to give you guys a little bit more action so I guess we'll try and get ourselves some ducks with the crossbow see how that works we actually are really close to these elk which kind of surprises me not sure how we were able to get this close on these guys while running yet we can't get that close with a stand doesn't really make much sense but is what it is all right let's see if we can hit one of these little ducks over here That one's at exactly 60. Let's see what we can do here. Ooh, that hit right below it. Yeah, I don't know where these are going now. Uh, hello there. Well, we got that one. It's very interesting that these guys don't spook when you shoot them with the bow. And that didn't even kill it. Um, all right, then. Yeah. The bows and the stands. Not very good. This might be the only weapons in the game that you'll actually find me not liking. Because even the shotguns, even though they have their issues, they're at least fun to use. They're at least usable and useful. But the crossbow is kind of not really that good it's better than the compound bows but still not great and then the stands let's let's not even talk about the stands honestly they're just terrible overall but I mean I just don't know guys I just don't know not really impressed with the stands or the bows but there is our little blue wing teal a mature female actually I think we already have one though, so we're not going to go ahead and save this one. Let's head back to the lodge. 
All right, let's go ahead and claim the animals, which is just that little blue wing teal. And then we will return to the lodge. But yeah, that is the stands and the crossbow. I'm sorry if you guys expected more out of this video, but there's not really too much I can do with the stands or the bows. They're not exactly very useful in the game, unfortunately. I hope they do something about that in the future. I'd love to see the bows get a little bit of a buff in uh, the power and also just make it a little more, I guess, make it a little bit easier to aim with it because as of now, the crossbow has no way of determining what your drop is going to be or where you should be aiming for the drop. As far as I know, the compound bows, the pins aren't very accurate. And I haven't really heard too much about the recurve. We might have to give it a chance in the future, but as for the stands, I really don't see the point. They honestly need to make it so that there's way less of a spook radius. Because currently the fact that you can still spook an animal 60 meters away while wearing scent cover, it makes no sense to me. It makes absolutely no sense. So in order for them to be useful, they will have to make some changes to them. But yeah, it's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry if this was not exactly what you were expecting the stands and the bows to be like, but I did what we could. I tried to do as much as I could with them, but yeah, it's going to be it for today. Peace, my dudes. If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.